Welcome to Sunday School for ages 9 to 11 for February 7, 2021. The Bible basis for today's lesson is found in John chapter 4, verses 25 through 42. I do not own the rights to this music. An unusual witness emerges in the strangest place. Ramblewood Drive was a very peculiar street. It was the dividing line that determined which middle school you attended. Those on the right attended North Middle School. Those on the left attended South Middle School. Eventually, everyone would attend the same high school. But right now, they detested each other. Tanya lived on the right side of the street. Her friends didn't live within walking distance. So after school, she would sit on the porch and play games and music on her phone. She was just about to head into the house because it was starting to rain when she heard a voice. Can I use your phone? Tanya turned around to see a girl from across the street two doors down. She had seen her several times, but had never spoken to her because of the unspoken rule that you don't fraternize with the kids from the left side of the street. She didn't know what to say. My name's Vonda. I live across the street. I'm locked out of my house and my cell phone is dead. I need to call my mom at work. Can I use your phone? Tanya hesitated and took a deep breath before responding. Sure, would you like to come in out of the rain while you wait for your mom? Vonda accepted. She hung out with Tanya in her living room until her mom could get there. The girls talked and asked each other questions and found they had a lot in common. After a while, it was no longer awkward. Tanya believed she had found a new friend. Have you ever avoided someone because they weren't part of your inner circle of friends? What would it take for you to get to know them? The Bible says to let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. The Bible study. People you don't know or don't understand can surprise you. It takes strength and courage to be open to someone whom you view as being different from yourself. You don't know what you may be missing unless you give others a chance. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 2, Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. John chapter 4, verses 25 through 42. The woman said unto him, I know that Messiah is cometh, which is called Christ. When he is come, he will tell us all things. Jesus saith unto her, I that speak unto thee am he. And upon this came his disciples, and marveled that he talked with the woman, yet no man said, What seekest thou, or why talkest thou with her? The woman then left her water pot and went her way into the city, and saith to the men, Come, see a man which told me all things that ever I did. Is not this the Christ? Then they went out of the city and came unto him. In the meanwhile, his disciples prayed him saying, Master, eat. But he said unto them, I have meat to eat that ye know not of. Therefore said the disciples one to another, Hath any man brought him aught to eat? Jesus saith unto them, My meat is to do the will of him that sent me, 
and to finish his work. Say not ye, there are yet four months, and then cometh harvest? Behold, I say unto you, lift up your eyes and look on the fields, for they are white already to harvest. And he that reapeth receiveth wages and gathereth fruit unto a life eternal, that both he that soweth and he that reapeth may rejoice together. And herein is that saying true, one soweth and another reapeth. I sent you to reap that whereon ye bestowed no labor. Other men labored, and ye are entered into their labors. And many of the Samaritans of that city believed on him for the saying of the woman, which testified, He told me all that ever I did. So when the Samaritans were come unto him, they besought him that he would tarry with them. And he abode there two days, and many more believed because of his own word, and said unto the woman, Now we believe not because of thy saying, for we have heard him ourselves. And know that this is indeed the Christ, the Savior of the world. God wants us to talk about Jesus what Jesus did in our lives to other people. That's called a testimony. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 28, verses 18 through 20, And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. Amen. The Bible says in Matthew chapter 5, verse 13, Ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost his savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 52 verse 7, How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publisheth peace, that bringeth good tidings of good, that publisheth salvation, that saith unto Zion, Thy God reigneth. The Bible says in Romans chapter 10, verse 17, So then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. God, we thank you for this lesson. We thank you for the little ones that are present in the name of Jesus. We pray that you, I pray that you would fill them with your spirit, God. Let them be a witness for you. In the name of Jesus, that they testify of your grace, your glory, in the name of Jesus. And that someone that they encounter also has it, receives you, Father, and is full of your spirit, in the name of Jesus. And that the gospel is spread throughout the communities, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank God and amen. God bless you and thank you for joining me today.